Namaste everyone. Thank you first of all for joining this meeting. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about how can you deploy your code you have on GitHub on Microsoft Azure using app services feature. So let's dive into the platform and let's see how can we do it. So we need to first create a web application. I hope you guys know about it very well. If you are uh, watching it for the first time, let me just guide you about the whole, pro whole process. So after clicking on app services, it will redirect you to a page like this where you'll find the uh, create app option right on the top. You have to create that, uh, click that option and then it will redirect you to a page where you'll get to see a form like this. You have to fill everything, whatever is there in this form. So we'll first create a new resource group. Uh, let's name it as uh, PowerShell, PowerShell Pizza. Okay. And I'm going to hit OK. Okay. So I successfully created a resource group. It's time for me to give a name to my application. So Pizza, Pizza. This is what I would like to use for my app. Okay, good to go. Uh, because my app uh, is made on uh, .NET, so this is the one I uh, would like to select. And then, okay, rest everything is fine. Let's hit this review and create option. And very soon, uh, it will show me the create option right over here. Uh, with which, uh, you know, hitting which I can create, I'll be able to create my web application. Uh, let's see, uh, it's going to take a bit of time. So uh, by the time my app is great, getting created, you can uh, grab a cup of tea for you. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, so it's here. I need to come down and okay, it's showing some error form validation failed in basic tab. Let's see why is it showing this error. The app name Pizza Pizza is not available. Okay, let's use some other name. How about Pizza Pizza Dash One? Yes, uh, it seems good. Let's hit this review and create option. Okay, I can now hit this create option initializing deployment. Fine. So till now everything is fine. We'll be able to uh, get redirected to the page where it shows deployment in progress very soon. Uh, the deployment is getting submitted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right now the deployment is in progress. So we'll have to again wait for a bit of time. Uh, if you want to give some feedback uh, to Microsoft, you can use this option. Fine. So uh, I think uh, it has successfully created uh, this resource for us and we'll be able to see the URL through which we'll be able to access our web application very soon, right? Uh, uh, you know, somewhere over here, it will first redirect us to a new page and there it will show us the URL through which we can access our web application, which is getting deployed right now. Okay, we need to hit this go to resource option. So this is this was for the uh, you know users or this was for those who are uh, new on this platform. Okay, so that's the URL I was talking about. Let's hit this URL and see what's gonna happen. So you can see here it says pizza pizza dash one dot azure websites dot net. Fine. So you'll be able to see the web application very soon. I haven't connected my GitHub, uh, you know, uh, this repository with this application yet. I'll be doing it very soon. So stay with me. Your web app is running and waiting for your content. Okay, it's time for us to put some content on our web application. How to do that? We need to uh, open the bash environment. Okay, that's the one. And here the first thing we need is uh, to clone our repository. So that's the link through which I can do it. And you know, this is a command, git clone. You must be knowing about this command, right? Git clone and then the link of the repository because I've already cloned it earlier. So that is the reason it is showing me this message. 
destination path this and already exists and is not an empty directory fine that's not a problem it's time for me to uh, you know give my identification to bash so that's how i can do it let me first introduce myself to bash so uh, my email id is this okay it has accepted this code and then my name is Gaurav Kumar Jain and that's the way we can tell about this to uh, you know bash okay so bash environment is very much similar to cmd right uh, it's time for us to cd into this uh, folder product in which all our uh, you know these files are there 020304 all the files are there and I'm using 03 for now that's the one I am into in my bash at present okay so I have got a file inside product uh, the name of which is index.html so I'll be pulling this over here on my uh, web apps environment on my uh, you know as, as a home page of my web page Web, web application i'll be making it uh, you know my a home page of my web application uh, it's time for me to go back on that notepad and the next one is the next command is ls let's fire it okay so you can see here it has given me index.html so i'm able to pull index.html which is there uh, inside prod uh, over here in this bash okay it's time for me to initiate the git repository and that's the command with the help of which we can do it reinitiated existing git repository so uh, it reinitiated this git repository and now uh, we need to fire this command uh, git add dot okay good to go it's time for me to fire again a new command I, I, I need to commit the transaction commit and then dash m and then we can give a name okay fine so one file change seven insertions and create mode one double oh six double four okay it's time for us to fire this ninth command which is this and uh, let me just tell you about this command so it is az web app so right now we are using az web app right uh, the way we have uh, you know something like django in python uh, there is something like react native you must have heard about similarly if you're working in azure we have something called az commands so this is what we'll be using for configuring our uh, you know this github code on this web apps environment so here we need to make some changes the first thing we need to change is the name of our application so for me it is pizza pizza dash one i think if i'm not wrong yes it is pizza pizza dash one so here i have to put pizza then pizza dash one and then we have to put the name of the resource group at the end so for me it is sorry resource then it is for me it is power shell pizza power shell pizza right and then we can hit the enter button let's see what's gonna happen so you know that's the process we need to follow for deploying our application our github application on uh, microsoft azure and it has given me a url okay so the command got executed successfully it's time for me to execute uh, this command which is very much similar to the previous one so again it's a deployment command but here you know what i am doing i need to uh, uh, secure my application and how can i do it by uh, you know putting some login credentials on it 
and that's the way we can do it list dash publishing dot dash credentials so it will create some login credentials which is going to uh, you know help us in protecting our web application from being hacked okay we can protect our web application in this way uh, here again we need to change uh, the group service name gr uh, resource group name sorry so we need to make it power shell pizza and then we need to come down and here we need to change the application name to pizza pizza dash one rest everything is going to remain the same let's execute the enter button and see what's gonna happen so uh, you know it has successfully generated for us a password over here see that's the password right and uh, this is my username and here i have a url in which you can see both the things the password as well as the username right so we will be needing we need this thing for now i need to copy it and i need it over here okay i am pasting it here let me just create a remote for my git and that's a command with the help of which we can do it so this is the uh, 11th step right okay so remote azure already exists fine it already exists so we do not need any other remote for it but you'll be doing it for the first time so you'll have to fire this command for creating a remote okay it's time for us to push the azure master unable to access okay why is it so let me again try and paste it okay it is showing some error no problem uh, let me try and fix the error So get remote azure this is perfectly fine okay so it says uh, fatal remote or re uh, remote azure already exists that's not a problem uh, let me just see if i can refresh if i can get this side after refreshing this page i showed you right in the beginning i think we are almost done no uh the content is still not there no problem i think uh, if i'll uh, why this command is not working let me check git push is azure master and it is giving me this error unable to access could not resolve the host okay okay i finally resolved the issue uh, actually you know i've already created this uh, application earlier uh, using the same github repository so that is the reason you know these three commands which i just used uh, you know they didn't work right so i what i did is i used this command directly for redeploying my application so it is az web app up dash dash html so with the help of this you can you know give a uh, refresh to your application you can redeploy it and that's what i did after you know using these uh, commands because they were they were not working for me but if you're uh, using this repository which uh, i showed you the link of right in the beginning for the first time you'll have to use all these commands okay so that's the one which i used and you know now it is showing me my bash is showing me uh, this these messages over here and finally the result was this so it gave me a url uh, I think with the help of this, I'll be able to access my web application and my application's name is pizza dash quick. That's what I, uh, you know, selected. And uh, this is the resource group name, a bash created for my application automatically. And that's the source path. Okay. So everything, all the information is present here let me see if with the help of this url right now which is getting reflected in bash 
कैन बी यू नो कैन हेल्प मी इन एक्सेसिंग माई वेब ऐप विच आई विच इज देयर ऑन गेट हब और नॉट सो आई नीड टू क्लिक ऑन इट एंड इट इज ओपन मी इट इज ओपन फॉर मी अ न्यू टैब लेट सी वेदर I'll be able to see my web application over here or not. It's going to take a bit of time again. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me just copy this entire URL. Uh, I'm going to paste it here. Yeah. So finger crossed. I hope I'll be able to access. Yeah. So that's the web app, right? And it is working perfectly fine as you can see. Okay. so you know that's the way of deploying a github repository code on microsoft azure using app services this is it from my side do try it out and in case you come across any issues do let me know about those issues in the comment section uh, let me just show you all the commands again so these are 15 commands you can use for uh, you know moving your github project on microsoft azure Thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it a lot. Do not forget to like and share the video. Bye bye. Take care and have a great great day ahead.